Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. Big news today, Microsoft is officially releasing Windows 11 24H2 for the normal users on the main release. So starting today, the 1st of October, Microsoft is slowly starting to roll out Windows 11 24H2 for eligible devices. So you may not see the update right away, but if you follow this video, you should be able to install Windows 11 24H2 very, very easily. In this video, I'm also going to show you the process of installing Windows 11 24H2 through Windows Update if you have the latest version of the main release on on your computer and also we're going to talk about briefly some of the new features that microsoft is introducing in this new version following more features that will be released later on via moment updates so if you enjoy videos about windows 11 24h2 please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video this video is sponsored by private internet access a virtual private network where vpn for shorts hides your ip address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel streaming service Services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, to install Windows 11 24H2 via Windows Update, you're going to have to open up the Settings app. You can use the search box or use the keyboard combination Windows plus I. In the Settings app, you're going to have to go to Windows Update and here you're going to have to check get the latest updates as soon as they're available, be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes, and improvements as they roll out. Then you're going to have to click on check for updates and you should see this banner pop up. Windows 11 version 24H2 is available and then you can click on see what's new in this update and you're going to see some of the features that Microsoft is rolling out. Then just click on download and install Windows 11 24H2 and the installation process will begin. Of course, it's going to take a bit of time depending on your system, depending on your internet speed, but you should have Windows 11 24H2 released within an hour at the most. Next up in this video, as I've said at the beginning, we're going to briefly mention the set of features that are rolling out with the initial Windows 11 24H2 release. And I'm going to make an updated video and maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, where I'm going to talk in depth about all the new features that are rolling out in this initial release. So first of all, as I've said in a previous video that I've done about new Windows 11 24H2 features for Copilot Plus PCs, we're getting improvements related to live caption, scope creator in paint, which you can used to generate images, Windows Studio effects, auto super resolution, which can help you improve games using AI, also image creator and restyle in the Microsoft Photos app. Microsoft is also adding support for Wi-Fi 7, which is basically a new technology that will revolutionize the Wi-Fi connections with better speeds and reliability. We're also getting the Bluetooth LE audio enhancements for assistive hearing devices support. This is something that you can find in Bluetooth and devices, of course. This is a pretty cool new feature. And also the Bluetooth and devices settings page has also been enhanced to offer more functionality. Users can now view essential details for connected Bluetooth devices such as battery life and connection status. Also access audio settings for audio devices with ease. We're also getting improvements to the quick settings section. Basically we have now a new scrollable view with live captions included here. Also we have an animated icon in the taskbar to indicate when a connection is in progress replacing the disconnected globe icon. We're also getting a refresh button for Wi-Fi connections or refresh network list. And also the ability to create a VPN easily directly from the quick settings section. In File Explorer, you're going to notice that when right-clicking on a file, you're going to have all these quick actions labeled at the top. And also the ability to compress to multiple formats, as well as additional options that you can use to compress directly from Windows without needing a third-party app. Microsoft is also adding support for metadata related to PNG files, allowing you to add information to your images. In Settings, System, and then Power and Battery, Microsoft is adding a lot of new improvements to energy recommendations, new options to save your energy. Also in power and battery, you're going to notice different options that you can select from whether you're plugged in or on battery with your device. We're also getting additional options related to Wi-Fi. Basically, we can share our Wi-Fi password to another device via a QR code. We have this new section here in the Wi-Fi connection properties, Wi-Fi network password, which we can show and you can see the password and also the QR code to easily connect to another Wi-Fi and also improve security for Wi-Fi connections. We're also getting account management notifications in Microsoft Teams and a new AI function called Voice Clarity, which was initially exclusive to Surface devices, but is now available to more devices. We're also getting the sudo command directly in Windows 11. So you can type in here sudo. So you can see that if sudo is disabled on the machine, you can just open up the settings app, then go to system and then search for developers. And you're going to see here enable sudo. You can enable it on user account control. You're going to have to click on yes. And then if you type sudo again into a PowerShell window, you're going to see that the command works. Related 
wanted to remote desktop connection, this feature offers a more integrated connection bar for your remote sessions with a refreshed light slash dark mode design that aligns with the Windows 11 design principles. And in addition to that, we have an updated Windows setup experience, new lock screen, and also an account manager for the start menu. And you can also drag pinned apps directly to the taskbar if those apps are installed. In addition to that, Microsoft is adding a lot of other options related to the system tray, to the new settings app where they redesigned a lot of the pages. As I said, I'm going to go in depth in another video that I'm going to do in the coming days. Also, an option to test your microphone quality, new options for graphics, Bluetooth, Windows backup, and also improved security in Windows 11 24H2. Task Manager is also getting improvements related to the new settings section and also the performance page, which have been improved to better match the Windows 11 design principles and a lot of new things related to Windows Share. So if you go into the Share section, you're going to notice that the window was redesigned, has new options, you're going to be able to share using your phone, copy a link or an image that you're sharing and so on. As I've said, I briefly mentioned some of the most important things that are added, but I'm going to make an updated video in which we'll talk about the, all the new features that are released in this initial release. So as a conclusion to this video, make sure to check for updates in your Windows operating system. If you have the latest version and your computer is compatible, you should get the newest version of Windows 11, which is 24H2. If you have any additional questions, please let me know below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.